Hello everyone. Today we're gonna have dilation. It's the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. So dilation is a transformation that produces an image that is the same shape as the original, or we call the original as the pre-image, and but it's of different size. So pretty much these two figures are similar. Okay, so we have here this problem. It says that we draw a kite with vertices um, A, B, C, and D. So let's draw the kite here. So that's negative seven, negative four. So it's gonna be here, negative seven and negative four. So we will label this as A. And then the B is negative five and negative three. So this is B. C is negative four, negative four. So this is letter C right here. And uh, point D is negative five, negative five. So down here, so this is our letter D, and I mean point D. So we are going to connect the uh, uh, dots together to create the um, kite. So this is how the kite look like. So let me connect that. And I'm connecting the vertices. Okay, so that's the kite right there. Now, it says on this problem that we are going to dilate. We're going to blow it up four times. But the center of dilation that we have is negative 8, negative 6. So this is negative 8. And this is the negative 6 right here. So this is in green. We will label this as the center of dilation. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is we are supposed to again uh, blow it up or dilate it four times, four times bigger than this. So this is how we get the uh, image. So first we are going to determine how far is A from the center of dilation. So A is 1 over 2, that's how far it is. Now we are going to create 1 over 2 distance to get, we're doing it four times to get to A prime. So what I'm trying to say is, this is one time, 1 over 2, that's the second time, 1 over 2, that's the third time, 1 over 2, that's the fourth time. So that means that our B, I mean, A prime is sitting here. So I will label this as A prime. Now look what's going on. So A prime is four times farther from the, it's four times far from the point center of dilation. So that is one, two, three, four, because again, the, the scale factor was four. And we are going to do the same thing for the B to get the B prime. So, but B is, let's see how far it is. One, two, three, three over one, two, three, three over three. So I will do this four times. So that is three over three, and then one, two, three over three, one, two, three, over three, okay? So if we look at this, that's how far is, we, we are gonna label this as the uh, as the B prime. So it's actually B prime right here. So I'm gonna label that up there. So let's see how far it is. So that's one, two, three, four. Again, we, we had to do four times because the scale factor was four. And we do the same thing for C. So C from the center of dilation is one, two, three, four, four over two. So we do the same thing four times. So one, two, three, four over two, one, two, three, four over two, one, two, three, four over two. So it's gonna sit here. So that is four over two. So this is where our C prime is gonna sit. Now, if we count how far the C prime is from the center of dilation, that would be one, two, three, four. Again, because the center of dil I mean, the scale factor was four. We do the same thing for point D, so that would be one, two, three over one. So one, two, three over one. One, two, three over one. So that's the second. One, two, three over one. 
and this is the fourth time so this is where uh, d prime is gonna sit so it's gonna be right here so we will label this as d prime so let's see how far d prime is from the center of dilation that is one two three four so we uh created those vertices by the way this is b prime right here now we are ready to draw the kite the blown up kite which is um which has a scale factor of um scale factor of four so let's draw the kite so we are expecting this kite to be four times bigger than the original kite so this is um this is the third side and this is the fourth side okay so let's uh clean it up so let's um clean the uh the, the figures up so let me take this off so um so we are now trying we're now clearing up everything so that's okay so this is supposed to be a uh, point d right here okay so this time around we are going to test if is it really four times bigger than uh, four times bigger than the original. So this diagonal that we have over here is two. So that's two. So we're expecting this two times four is eight. So the diagonal that we have here should be eight. So it's counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's eight. Now, so this is eight right here. And this one right here would be one, two, three. So we're expecting the other diagonal would be, gee, since that is one, two, three, we're expecting this to be three times four is 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this, uh, uh, this kite was blown up um, four times. So all of the sides were blown up four times and the kite was drawn four times away from the center of dilation. So that's what it means. Now we can test if we, uh, if we got the correct um, figure by connecting the A prime and the A and let's see if they're gonna converge or they're gonna, uh, they're gonna meet at center of dilation. So let's see. So I'm gonna draw that over there. So it, it went through the center of dilation. We will connect the B prime and the B. So the B prime and the B here shall be connected. And again, they are meeting at the center of dilation. We are connecting the C and the C prime. So let's see if they're gonna um, get to the center of dilation. So I'm gonna put that over here. So that's the C and the C prime. So I'll connect it. So those two are connected. And then the D and the D prime will be connected again. And you see they are meeting at the center of dilation. So this picture right here was again uh, dilated or blown up four times because the scale factor was four. So we are now ready to determine the coordinates of the image. So A, A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So A prime is negative four, two. B prime is, it's gonna be four, six. C prime is eight, two. So that is eight, two. And then the D prime is four, negative two. Four, negative two. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.